As a child, I always dreamed of being a writer. But back then, I thought the only way you can earn money is if your book becomes an international bestseller, something like Harry Potter, and that's the only way you can become rich. This is part of the reason why I never considered taking writing up seriously, because according to what everyone around me said, writing is just a hobby, but you need a job to stay alive and earn money. But thanks to the advent of the internet, writing has become one of the most sought after occupations in the world. Today, we are lucky to be alive in such a time where it's possible you can earn in six figures every month. And I'm talking about six figures US dollars, not Indian rupees. Only by writing, which is like amazing. And we are so lucky that the phase, that wave for the creator economy is just starting. And if you start right now, it's the perfect time to establish yourself as a writer. So, if you are someone who has always loved writing and you want to make a living just by being a writer, then in this video, I'm going to talk about 8 ways you can earn money by writing online. Hi everyone, my name is Anang Shalamyan and welcome to my channel, where we talk about books, creativity and how to make a living as a writer in today's world. The first way you can make money by writing online is through Quora. Many of you might already be aware that Quora is a question and answer platform where you can answer questions and you can also make posts. Recently in 2018, Quora came up with a new uh, feature called the Quora Spaces. And in 2020, they allowed the owners of the space to earn money based on how much ads their spaces generated. For example, if you have a space that has like 2 million followers, you can get quite a good amount of money every month from the Quora Spaces program. But this is a long-term gig because it takes time and effort to grow your space to have enough followers where you can get enough views and enough money. But if you like Quora as a platform and if you like the idea of answering questions, then definitely it's a great way to earn money from the Quora Spaces program. The second way you can earn money is by writing on Medium. Now, if you are new here, I have already made a video about how to get started writing on Medium and how you can earn money on Medium. So you can just watch the video from the link right here. Medium pays users based on how many minutes your story has been read. And on an average, you can earn up to $5 to $10 for every one hour that your story has been read. The issue with Medium is that the only way of getting payment is through Stripe. And Stripe is a payment platform that's not available in India yet. So if you're a writer from India, you won't be able to join the Medium Partner Program. The third way you can earn money by writing online is through vocal media. I've already addressed what it takes for a beginner to start earning money on vocal media. Again, you can check that video right from this link here. Vocal media also uses Stripe as the payment platform, but it allows the Stripe standard accounts which is available in India. So if you're a writer in India, vocal media could be a great place to start earning money. The fourth way is to write commissioned articles. Now there are a lot of websites in the world that pay you up to $100 or even more for each article that you publish. I've made a video covering four websites that pay you $100 or more for each article. So you can check that video here from the link. The fifth way to earn money is by publishing your own ebook. I didn't list it right at the beginning because as a new writer, it's very difficult to write a book. But it's not so difficult to write one article of 500 words or 700 words, right? So once you have written, say, 30, 40, maybe 100 articles, you can compile the best of those articles into an ebook. And then you can just publish the ebook on Amazon KDP, Kindle Direct Publishing. And then you can just start earning money by making sales. The sixth way is by writing for freelance clients. A great way to find freelance clients is on these two platforms, Upwork or Fiverr, where you can make a profile. You can list what kind of skills you have, what are some previous projects you have done. And then you can wait for potential job openings that suit your interests. Upwork works in this way where you have to send a proposal to a potential employer and if they like your work, they are going to select you for more work in the future. Fiverr on the other hand is a little bit different because as a freelancer, you just have to make your profile and then the employers or the brands, the companies that need articles written, they will come to you asking for paid gigs. 
Aside from these two platforms, another very underrated way of finding freelance clients is through LinkedIn. As we all know, LinkedIn is the online equivalent of your resume or CV, but it's also one of the world's fastest rising social media platforms. So if you have a good presence on LinkedIn, you can definitely get a lot of freelance clients just by being active on LinkedIn. Seventh way is by doing brand journalism. Now, there are a lot of brands who want articles written about them, who will pay good money to have articles about them published on a website with a good domain ranking. It's a little difficult to do brand journalism as a beginner writer because you don't really have a follower base. But if you have your own website or your own blog where you get a good amount of monthly reads or monthly website visitors, then you can start pitching these brands that lie in your niche. Then you are available for gigs and you will be happy to do sponsored collaborations about them and then share news about them with your own network. And the last and the most interesting way of earning money is by doing coaching or consulting. So if you have been writing online for a long time and you have considerable experience, then you can start coaching other people, other writers who are just starting out. I have known writing coaches who charge up to $500 per hour of coaching. And I know people are very happy to pay that because they know the amount of value they'll get in that one hour can be literally life changing. But again, coaching is not a viable option for beginner writers. But if you have been writing online for a few years, then you should definitely consider coaching as a potential income stream. So these were all the eight ways in which you can earn money. Another very interesting way in which you can add another income stream as a writer is by monetizing your newsletter. So I'll make a video about that pretty soon. If you don't know already, I have a newsletter where I send tips on creativity, productivity, and just something to make you smile every weekend straight to your inbox. You can find the link to join my newsletter in the description of this video. So that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions regarding any of these ways that I mentioned, please feel free to let me know in the comments. And also, if you have any specific topic that you would like me to make a video on, don't hesitate to let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Until then, keep writing and stay awesome. Cheers.